update too um, after his surgery. His face is really, really swollen. Um, he's a little bit cranky every now and then. And he's doing okay. They give him pain medicine every couple of hours. Um, he's eating through a syringe. This is what it looks like. And it's got like holes at the bottom of it. And he drinks about three or four of these. He gets really frustrated when you take it out of his mouth. Um, because he's used to drinking about six to seven ounces every three hours. So he's, you know, wants milk constantly. He created um, the nostril here and just did a stitch here and there's stitching throughout the inside. And it's glue on the top as well, which will, the stitches will dissolve and the glue will go away. Um, the swelling should go down in a couple of days. Um, we'll be here at the hospital till about Thursday. And other than that, he's getting pain medication through an IV and Tylenol by mouth. He also will have um, antibiotics. He's having that through his IV. Um, the only thing that's like really bad is the fact that he can't say when he's in pain. Last night was so, so hard. He would wake up every hour, if not every half an hour and that was pretty rough not to mention that i was feeding him and i just so happened to open his blanket and see all this blood everywhere and it was because his iv had came out of his arm and that scared the crap out of me um he has to wear these things called no-nos which makes it so that he can't bend his elbow to touch his face because he's used to touching his face. They just look like little casts that go around his elbow so he can't bend his arm. And last night they had to put another IV in his arm. He's going right there. And he's going right here. And this is his IV, which is really a massive, great tape job this time. Last time it wasn't as much tape. So this time hopefully it won't go anywhere. Um, He's just now waking up. He's a little bit, uh, a little loopy and spitting up, you know, a little bit of milk. Um, yesterday, all day, he could only have Pedialyte, and today he's now taking milk through the syringe. And hopefully, he won't get frustrated and start screaming. But, um, we're just trying to. You know determine whether or not he'll need um, more antibiotics and more um, fluids through his IV depending on how much milk he takes today tomorrow they may take him off the IV um, and see how that goes other than that he's okay for the most part he's like this then he starts to get frustrated and then you have to feed him change him and if that doesn't work, he needs pain medicine. He should be getting pain medicine every two to three hours.